as the Trayvon Martin shooting become a national issue? Is the media coverage even about the case itself, or is it a competition with other networks? This Trayvon Martin case, we need more publicity. We need controversy. What we need to do is change the 911 call. We need to light the fire. I agree. And what NBC is calling a mistake. The Today Show recently ran an edited version of George Zimmerman's 911 call to exaggerate the racial undertones. But if this was really a mistake, just how easy of a mistake was it to make? Here's NBC's edited audio versus the unedited audio from the original call. This guy looks like he's up to no good. He looks black. Did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, a dark hoodie. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. It's raining and he's just walking around looking about. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He looks black. The 911 operator specifically asked Zimmerman about Trayvon Martin's race. Zimmerman did not volunteer the information, something NBC conveniently edited out. So here we are at PJTV to demonstrate the steps necessary to show that this wasn't just a mere slip of the finger or accident. You have to be deliberate in your actions to make this kind of edit. So we've got George Zimmerman's audio lined up in what we call timeline. This guy looks like he's up to no good. Or in order to recreate the NBC edit, we find the end and out points. He's on drugs or something. It's raining and he's just walking around looking about. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? And delete the selection. So to help cover the edits tracks, we're going to add an audio crossfade. Okay, so now we're going to play the edited piece of audio with a crossfade in place, and you can hear what NBC played. This guy looks like he's up to no good, or he looks black. Did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, a dark hoodie. And that's how you make a 911 call sound racist. As NBC broadcasts the Trayvon Martin case, Fox is commentating on their mistakes. All right, in the meantime, NBC has issued an apology now for the George Zimmerman Trayvon Martin case down in Florida. It all has to do with this 911 call that George Zimmerman placed on the night that Trayvon Martin was shot. The question is, the editing in which NBC, what they did to this 911 call, did it change the message? Well, apparently it did, now they're apologizing for it. Yeah. Different message in your yeah, mind. Yeah, than the, I'm just rhetorically yeah. asking the question, what, guys. Here's what they cut out. So he says, this guy looks like he's up to no good, Zimmerman did. They cut out, or he's on drugs or something. It's raining, and he's uh, just walking around looking about. Okay, the dispatcher asked this guy, is he black, white, or Hispanic? They took all of that out. Well, you and know, now, time is, you only have a four-hour show. you got to take seven sure. seconds out. Well, now NBC has issued an apology. They say the error was made in the production process that they deeply really? regret the pro that's the same thing they said when NBC took out God from the pledge a couple of times that was They're a little the skimpy golf. on golf. I'm furious this is a tragedy for the justice system in a country called America in 2012 and here we are for your FM dial murder of Trayvon Martin the idiot George Zimmer wants to sue NBC for betraying him to be what he is. Someone who hates black people. Zimmerman said earlier this year God wanted Trayvon Martin dead, meaning he meant to kill him. Good morning, folks. I'm Ray the Lion here with my guest speaker, Kyle Flynn. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on the show, Randy. No problem. So, I mean, how do you feel about that George Zimmerman case? I mean, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff up in the air right now, but, uh, you know, I gotta ask you what, do you, what do you think about them trying to pin this uh, all on Zimmer and claiming a hate crime? Man, you know, they're trying to say that it's a hate crime just because they were supposedly profiling him. We all know NBC was just messing around with that tape. He did not say that stuff right like it did. He was just simply trying to do his job. I mean, how can you call it stalking when you're just trying to help out your community? Am I right? Yeah, I see where you're coming from, but what do you think about Obama's remarks on it? Saying, uh, if I had a kid, you'd look something like Trayvon? Don't even get me started with that. I feel like they're going to try to make this a political statement. I mean, come on, when a kid gets shot, you don't think of it, oh, that's going to be what my kid looks like. I mean, am I, am I right? Who says that? Definitely. 
Good morning, folks. It's Richard Land here. Uh, I just want to take a moment to show you a segment about what the new Black Panthers have to feel about the George Zimmerman case. Uh, here we go. I'm pretty sure you all have heard about the George Zimmerman, the murderer of Trayvon Martin, the scholar, the athlete. Everyone loved him in his school. And I want George Zimmerman dead or alive for $10,000. You can get $10,000 for bringing George Zimmerman back to us, dead or alive. Let's bring this murder to justice. The popular news magazine, People's Magazine, has currently issued an article in which they speak about how the police did not currently arrest Zimmerman on, on site. Now this invoked President Obama to go on some very personal terms and speak about how he thought that if he had a son, he'd look something like Trayvon Martin. Now, by doing this in the article, he implied a very hard slant against Zimmerman and provoked a lot of sympathy for the Martin family. Another popular magazine, the National Enquirer, also released several articles about the George Zimmerman and Martin case, in which they discuss about Mar er, Zimmerman's ugly past. They found some shocking revealing documents stating about how he had some previous court history in which he has several domestic violence abuses with his ex-fiancee. Now by doing this, they're provoking very unfair slant against Zimmerman. This is already going to make an unfair trial and make it very hard for this case to ever see light. In the popular conservative magazine, The Atlantic, the journalist Tanisi Kodes wrote an article labeled, The Fear of a Black President. In the article, he speaks about how Obama was first bipartisan about the case and did not come out to speak anything about it. However, seeing as it would add to his political reputation and he could use it for political game, he quickly changed his point of view on it and then gave his famous commentary on it saying, If I had a son, he'd look something like Trayvon Martin. This has quickly been fueled to the controversial fire saying, why did the president get involved in this case? The article further goes on to explain, harshly criticizing Obama, saying that a president has no need to get involved with these issues. Several weeks after the Trayvon Martin killing, the Huffington Post magazine issued an article, not really too biased, however, they were informing their readers. The article stayed away from all the slanting and stayed neutral in the fact. They presented clear facts and what did happen. Wow, that Trayvon Martin kid got guy following him around. Couldn't have just leave him alone. And the family thought that he was just missing the entire time. He was actually murdered. Can't believe what those poor people are going through. I'm from the Orlando Sentinel, and I'm writing my article, and I'm here with George Zimmerman's lawyer. Can I ask you a few questions, sir? Yes. So, what exactly happened on that night? Well, Do you um, really believe it was a hate crime? No, I don't think Why it was Why would a really... white guy deliberately kill a black man? Well, I don't really believe that What do you think about the race. Stand Your Ground law in Florida? I, do you think this will provoke some change? I think what it might. What do you think about Obama on this matter? A... Why does the media keep coming to me with all these questions? No further questions. I'm here reading the article from the USA Today on George Zimmerman. And in the article, it speaks of how George Zimmerman had had multiple calls before the Trayvon Martin incident, and multiple calls had been about black men he had witnessed following break-ins, and this raises question on whether the Trayvon Martin shooting was because of race or was because he was actually suspicious. Good afternoon, everyone. So, how about that George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin case? I mean, how do you feel about that? Yeah, well, I was looking into NBC, and we all know that it's a liberal network, and they actually edited out a 911 call, and they took out a certain part which made um, Zimmerman look like he was racial profiling um, Trayvon Martin. Exactly. They definitely focused on the race card here, and not only against Trayvon Martin, or in for him, but against George Zimmerman saying that he hated black people, which is directly hitting it at the point of the cultural.
I think furthermore, what a lot of networks are even overlooking is that he's not even actually full white. He's actually part Hispanic to begin with, too. Exactly. And also, not only were they focusing on the racial issues, which um, obviously were prevalent in most of the things that we were, we're analyzing here, but also the fact that they were heavily focusing on what the President Obama said. I mean, it almost had no correlation to this issue, except that he said a few words on it, saying that he might have looked like his son, and that has no reason to be in there. I think in many of the magazines I read, I also caught that fact that they were more focusing on the political issue and trying to bring in how this would affect his campaign, almost like he did it as a political move, not really a sincere thought to them. Yeah, exactly. But when I was looking at these radio stations, it was either as if they were blatantly saying that they hated George Zimmerman, literally calling him an idiot and hating black people, or they were not even defending George Zimmerman, but not necessarily helping him either. They were just saying how they hated President Obama for saying these things that he technically weren't supposed to say. In all, I think it's quite easy to say, though, that the media definitely favors Trayvon Martin in this case and shows little to any attention to Mar er, George Zimmerman and doesn't even take into account what actually happened that night. Exactly. They're trying to focus it too much on this, this kid and how he's so sweet when that's really not the issue. But I also feel like the networks isn't just about telling the truth. It's also about competing with each other because um, NBC first came out with an edited version and then two days after that Fox came out with a segment criticizing that they edited the, the 911 call. Exactly. What about you, Chris? Well, in the newspapers, it really showed, too, because they really talked about how Zimmerman almost always focused on how the people he would call in into the police would be African-American. Mm -hmm. And it just really showed almost, they really picked out on the race part. They definitely did. They, I mean, of course, he isn't white himself, so they even said that he had friends and family that were even black. So this really shouldn't be an issue, yet in the whole entire process of doing this, they heavily focused on the white, the, what his color of his skin was, and that really wasn't necessary. Definitely. And in all the articles, I think it's easy to say that they use completely loaded words. Like, instead of the actual legal terms such as manslaughter, they're using slaying, murder, and all sorts of terms that have no right, and it's just completely skewing all media. And the whole big picture of what we even call this, people say, oh, this is the Trayvon Martin killing. That in itself is slanted. Thanks. Well, that wraps up the show around the table, guys. Have a great evening. Because of his what about the Skittles?